Beloved, I want you to give him praise. This God is great. Even if God did not do any other thing this year, he is great. <laughs> Father, I will join the elders this morning to say you are great. You are great and you are greatly to be praised. <laughs> Thank you for your presence that is ever new every day in this ministry. Thank you, God, for we all are in your presence this morning. Thank you for your presence is overshadowing us, oh God, this morning. Thank you for your presence is doing wonders, oh God. This morning, Reverend was praying and he said that the presence of God was present to heal. The power of God was present to heal. It was present to deliver. It was present to set free. I don't know how many of you this morning, you've come his presence uh, but I have one assurance for you uh, that the presence of God will heal you the presence of God will set you free uh, the presence of God will bless you uh, the presence of God will put smiles on your faces uh, the presence of God will take you to higher places uh, the presence of God is awesome oh Jesus presence of God but one thing I don't want you to go back the same <laughs> because anybody that comes in contact with the presence uh, there is a manifestation uh, I'm going to hear your testimony I'm going to hear your testimony I'm going to hear that today's encounter was not just an encounter it was an encounter with the king of kings uh, it was an encounter with the lord of lords uh, it was an encounter with one that stays in heaven and make the earth his full soul give him praise this morning Hallelujah. We are going to still keep standing. Don't worry. The service is, is a short service. But the presence of God is down. When the, when the Lord has released his glory, <laughs> there's no need to waste time. Uh. Beloved, we're going to blast into the Holy Ghost this day. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me a word and he said, I will do a new thing. He said, I will do a new thing. He gave me the word and said, my daughter, tell them I will do a new thing. And I don't know who that new thing is for. <laughs> But the Lord has promised to do a new thing in Trem House of Mercy. I'm specific. I say in Trem House of Mercy. The Lord has promised to do a new thing. And who is Trem House of Mercy? I am Trem House of Mercy. We are not talking about the building. We are talking about me. Last week the Lord 
Lord gave me, last two weeks actually, the Lord gave me this message for this week. And I didn't know I was going to preach, but he said, write it down. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. He said, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of the old. Behold, I will do a new thing. See, I will do a new thing. And it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a, a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I like how uh, uh, Easy Read Version says, say, don't, so don't remember what happened earlier times. Don't remember them. They are old. Those things that made you cry. Those things that made you shed tears. God said I should tell you this morning. Don't remember them anymore. Stop counting back. Why will you be saying yesterday? I was, I was crying yesterday. God said I should say, tell you to stop saying yesterday. Because today is a gift. Today is a present. And I want you to handle it as so. Moving forward, hallelujah. He says, so don't remember what happened in earlier times. Don't think about what happened a long time ago. See, he still stressed it. Don't think. You know, some of us will still like to go over the bad things that have happened. God said, I should tell somebody in here today. Don't think about those things that have happened. He said, why? Why wouldn't you think about them? Because I am doing something new. Hallelujah. He said, I am doing something new. Now you will grow like a new plant. I like this uh, easy read version. He said, now you will grow like a new plant. You're not going to grow like an old plant. You will grow like a new plant. Surely you will know this is true. I will even make a road in the desert and rivers will flow through that dry land. Father, we thank you for entrance into your word, give it life and understanding. Father, even as you've promised your word this morning, uh, you've given your word that you will do a new thing in this year of acceleration. Uh, you promised us, oh God, to forget the um, yesterdays, oh God, uh, the bad things that life threw at us. Uh, you say we should forget them because you are in the business of doing new things. Uh, and I thank you for every member of House of Mercy will testify of this new thing uh, because the Lord will do a new thing in Jesus' name. Take the stage, Lord. Have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. <laughs> when you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied to see you glorified. Take this stage, Lord. <laughs> Take this stage, Lord. And when you're done healing your people, when you're done blessing your people, when you're done delivering your people, take the glory. Because I'm satisfied just to see you glorify. Hallelujah. God said I should tell you this morning that he's going to do a new thing. That you should let go of the old. Let go. Let go. Let go. Don't hold it. Don't hold it. Don't remind yourself. Even to your children, don't speak the old things anymore to them. Don't tell them yesterday you were like this. Did you? No, no, no. God said I want to do a new thing in that child's life. God said I'm starting a new thing. He said you will see it. That child will spring off like a new plant. I don't know whose child is that. But God said, that child will spring forth like a new child. He will spring forth like a new plant that have never been seen before. Because I'm doing a new work. I'm doing a new work. I'm tapping into that this morning. The Lord is doing a new work in my children's life. The Lord is doing a new work in my husband's life. The Lord is doing a new work in my life. And he is doing a new work in your life. According to Revelation that our uh, deaconess read this morning. 21, 5 to 6. He said, and he that sat upon the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, write for these words are true and faithful. I'm going to do a new thing. Write it down. That's why pastor has been talking about journal. Write it down because if you don't write, you will not remember. I know we are very good in remembering, but at times I like to write down things. He said, I'm going to do it. As he said unto me, it is done already. 
I am the first, I am the last. That is, I'm, an, I'm the alpha and I'm the omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a test of the fountain of the water of life. Freely. God will do it for you freely. I, I, um, I was afraid of something yesterday. And I made some comments. This morning, God corrected me and said, mm -mm. Yeah, you, you shouldn't do that. And when I was in the bathroom this morning dressing up, God now said, because you were afraid, I'm going to take care of all these. You start mentioning, say, all of them, they are already taken care of. I don't know why. You know, we human beings at times, we just start thinking. I would just think, I say, no. I said, that's how things happen. And at the end of the year, I'll still be saying, what happened? What happened this? Why didn't this happen? Why did that? God said, don't worry. I will take care of them. And I want to share that testimony with you. God will take care of all your needs. He will take care of all those things that are making you afraid this year. You are saying, oh gosh, look at them, look at them, look at the prices. Oh my God, how am I going to hit this target? But God has sent me your way this morning to tell you I will take care of them. I mean physical things. He will take care of them. Hallelujah. Isaiah 65, 17 to 19 says, For behold, I create new heaven and new earth. And the former shall not be remembered. The old things you will not remember anymore. In Jesus' name, not come into mind. He said, don't even think about them. He said, I know the devil will throw them at you, but when the devil comes, tell him, mm, this is not for me anymore. The Lord have handled it. Hallelujah. But be ye glad. The only thing God wants you to do from today, after today's service, he said, be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. You are a rejoicing. You are a joy in Jesus' name. He said, and I will rejoice in Jerusalem and, in, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping, Calebra Shadadosha, shall not be any more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. No more tears. No more tears. Tell the devil, no more tears. Can somebody look at the devil and say, no more tears. No more tears this year. No more tears this year. My family will not cry. Can somebody turn that into prayer for one minute? I want you to turn that one minute prayer. And tell the devil, no more tears for me. I will not cry anymore. I will not shed tears anymore. Because the Lord has gone before me. He has gone before me to make every crooked way straighter. I will not cry. I will not shed tears. I will not shed tears. It will not happen in my home. It will not happen in my life. It will not happen in my business. It will not happen in my joy. I will rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is about to do a new thing. 1 Corinthians 2 9 says, But as it is written, I had not seen nor ear head, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. I was looking for another place that scripture is. I didn't even know there's another place. That's why it's good. You see, Google is good. When you're researching, just use Google. It will help you. I was looking, I said, is he only in First Corinthians? And God showed me another place. In Isaiah 64 verse 4. He said, for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by their ears, neither had the eye seen, O oh Lord, beside thee, what he had prepared for him that waited for him. No eyes have seen it. In Exodus, you, you saw how God took the people of Israel through the Red Sea. If you go to Exodus 14, read it down, but I'll take 21. And God said, and, sorry, and Moses stretched out his hands over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided. I said, that no, you know, then it has not happened. Moses will say, ah, God, we are facing this sea. How are we going to cause? God said, hey, I will do it. That is the new thing I would do. God divided. It has not happened before. So that thing that has not happened before will happen for you. It will start with you. It will start with your children. It will start with your husband. It will start with your wife. It will start with your family members. That thing 
saying that people said, ah, it cannot be done. It has not been done in our family before. Ah, none of us, no, nobody have done this. You will be the first one to start it. In Jesus' name, the Lord did it for Moses. He did it for the people of Israel. He would do it for Dremite. In Jesus' name. There came a time Moses was still crying. The people were at him. Say, oh, please help us. Help us. And the Lord said to Moses in Exodus 14, that's in 14, 15. He said, and the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore crieth thou unto me? Speak unto the people, the children of Israel, that they go forward. I want to tell you this morning, go forward. Go forward. Don't look backwards anymore. Forward ever. Let's move forward. Tremites, let's move forward. Let's stop thinking about the old things. Uh. Let's stop thinking about oh, what happened. Uh. What did not happen. Uh. God has sent me your way this morning. And say move forward. Uh. Can somebody speak into themselves and say I'm moving forward. Uh. Practically move forward. Uh. I want you to move forward. Uh. Move some steps forward. Uh. Move forward. Uh. Move forward. Uh. Move forward. Uh. In everything you do, move forward. Uh. Don't go backwards. Uh. Don't take anything lesser. Uh. Move forward. Uh. Because the God of new is in the house. The God of new things is in the house. The God of new things is in the house. The God of new things is in the house. Is in the house. And he will visit someone this day. In Jesus name. There's something God told to Joshua. I said in Joshua, we are praying, you know, this is praying Sunday. So just flow with me. Hallelujah. Joshua 3, 4 to 5. He said, yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Come not near unto it, that ye may know the way by which you must go. For you have not passed this way, Hitato. We've not got, the new thing God wants to do, we've not gone through it before. So we need God. Hallelujah. And Joshua said unto the people, sanctify yourself. For tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Hallelujah. In this new, I want you to ask God and say, help me in this sanctification process uh, to know what to do as an individual. Now, you're going to pray for yourself uh, as a person. Uh, I want you to declare and say, Father, help me. Take me through this process. Uh, take me this, through this process of a sanctification. Uh, because sanctification comes after the wonders. Uh, after sanctification, there is wonders coming. Uh, wonders is coming tomorrow. Try my, let us sanctify ourselves. Uh, let us purify ourselves. Uh, let us get ready. But can you ask God, Father, help me through this process. It might not be easy. You might need to drop some things. You might need to let go of some things. You might need to drop some friends so that you'll be sanctified. Because there are some friends and whenever they come to you, they only speak bad things. They only take your mind to your old life. But right now, you're going to move forward. You're moving forward. You're going to move forward. Father, in this year, oh God, in this new things you're doing. Oh, Rakesh Shakataba. Father, help me. Uh, teach me, oh God, uh, how to sanctify myself uh, so that I will walk in this way. Uh, because I've not walked in it before. I've not walked in it before. I've not walked in it before. In Jesus' name. You're going to pray for your family. Call your family's name. You're going to pray and say, Father, in this new thing you're about to do, show us, oh God, how to go about it. Show us how to sanctify ourselves, oh God. Father, oh God, as a great family, Father, help us. Show us how to sanctify ourselves. Is somebody praying for their family? I want you to pray for your family this day. Father, show us how to sanctify ourselves. Baba, show us how to sanctify ourselves. Father, in this year, oh God, show me how to sanctify myself. Show my family how to sanctify ourselves so that we will walk in this newness of life. So that we'll walk in the new things you are doing. So that we will be able to go much into it, oh God. In Jesus' name, you're going to pray. Beloved, I can see the glory of God. He fills the house. He fills this house. Let's just give God praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Father, we worship you. Daddy, we worship you. The cloud of glory has fallen in dream house of mercy. The Lord has visited like before. The Lord has visited.
when it comes and we don't make light of it nobody here will go back the same nobody, no child will go back the same there will be transformation and it's going to be visible it's going to be visible I will see your transformation you will see my transformation you will see my blessing I will see your blessings you will see my healing I will see your healing you will see my lifting I will see your lifting because it's all over the place thank you Jesus I hope no child is in that other place please let everybody be in this hall because it is possible in this hall. It is here this moment. Father, we bow down before you. We bow down before you, Jesus. Finish what you started. Finish what you started, Jesus. Finish what you started. Trem has of mercy will not remain the same. Trem has of mercy will never remain the same again. After this visitation, it will not remain the same. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Beloved, we're going to pray for Trem has of mercy. And say, Father, take us through this sanctification process. Take us through this sanctification process. Uh, so that when God starts the wonders, nothing will stop the wonders. Uh, when God starts the wonders, uh, starting from the pastorates, uh, to the leaders in this church, uh, to the workers, uh, to every member in Trem House of Mercy. I want you to declare this morning and say, Father, take us through this process. Uh, take us through this process of sanctification. Uh, take us through this process of sanctification. Uh, Father, take us through this process as a ministry. As a ministry, take us through this process uh, as a ministry take me to beloved in Psalms 23 2 to 3 says he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me hallelujah he leadeth me beside the still water if the bible you have is yours you can underline there he leadeth me beside the still waters he restored my soul. He leadeth me. Be, just be listening. He, he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Not because of me. It's because the glory belongs to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to pray, pray and say, Father, lead me. Father, lead me into the new things. You remember what Reverend said the other day? He said, if you're walking in the will of God, you'll be walking in the will of God. When you get, as long as you're in the right lane of the will of God, when you get there, you see your education. You will enjoy your education. When you get the next step, is your marriage. You enjoy your marriage. You get the next step, is your job, is your business. Is Everything is aligned, is there in the will of God. If you are in the will of God. Hallelujah. Does it mean I'm not going to fall? I'm not going to, no, no. But because you're still in the will of God, when you fall, you will rise up. He said he will lead you. He will make you to rise. Hallelujah. But when you are outside the will of God, that is when struggle comes in. That is when you start looking into somebody's own that is not your own. But when you are in your own, it works with the will of God. Hallelujah. So you're going to pray this, this day and say, Father, as a person, blessing of the way, lead me, Jesus. Uh, lead me in this will. Uh, lead me in these new things. Uh, I've not been to this way before. I've not been to 2022 before. I've not been to the new things the Lord wants to do before. But today, oh God, uh, 
I give you, oh God, all the permission. I give you all the consent. I willingly, oh God, submit my will to your will, oh God. And say, lead me, oh God. And as you lead me, I will follow. As you lead me, I will follow. Father, lead me, oh God. Lead me, oh God. Turn that prayer to your family. Say, Father, lead my family. Lead my children. Lead my husband into the new thing. Lead my wife into the new thing. Rekela Boshayada. Is somebody praying this day? Is somebody declaring? Father, lead me into this new thing. Lead me into this new thing. Legushi Kantolo Breshakato. In the same way, I want you to pray and say, Father, lead Trem House of Mercy into this new thing. Uh. Father, lead us, uh. lead us, uh. lead us into this new thing. Uh. Lead us into this new thing. Uh. Lead us into this new, oh God, uh. into this newness, oh God, of life. Uh. Father, lead us, oh God, uh. lead us, oh God, uh. as a ministry lead us. Uh. We don't want to do things by ourselves. Uh. We want to be led, oh God, uh, by the Holy Ghost. Uh. In Jesus' name, James 1.5. One, uh, one five and six says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men, liberally and obey it not, and it shall be given him. But let him not ask in, uh, let, sorry, but let him ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and toast. But let, wait a minute, yeah. So, they're going to pray. Seven says, let for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord if you waver. If you are the person that today, when the going is good, your hallelujah, God is good. When the going is not that good, you you don't want to serve God anymore. Mm -mm. He says, stand strong. But my prayer, I want us to the prayer I want us to pray here is wisdom. He said, He that lacks wisdom, acts. Do you want to ask God for the wisdom for the new things? We need wisdom for the new things. You can't use your old style to do this style. The one you used yesterday is old. We need wisdom, wisdom for the day. That is why tremor, this thing is called wisdom for the day. You Every day you get wisdom for the day. Open your mouth and ask God today and say, Father, I need this wisdom, oh God, for this new thing. I need wisdom for myself. I need wisdom for my children. I need wisdom for this ministry. My Father, we need wisdom. We need wisdom. We need wisdom. We need wisdom, oh God. In Jesus' name. Receive that wisdom. He said, He that lacks, you ask. So it's open to everybody, both children, adults, everybody. Receive that wisdom to take you to the next level. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please, can we open our uh, seven projects? Open your seven projects. Please, I need my phone for my seven projects. Open your seven projects. It's good to be looking at it every day. You keep, thank you. You keep reminding yourself. Seven projects. Seven projects. That you're ready to work with God. Do we have it? If you have it off in your mind, that's fine. But me, I like to read my hallelujah. So this is the seven projects that God is, we're going to walk in partnership with God and bring it to pass. That means working in partnership with God is that I'm going to do my part. God will do his part. Remember, anything you depend on God 100% to do for you, 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 are, you failed already because you've decided to, not to do anything. But we pray that every one of us, God will give, we've received wisdom. So God will give us that wisdom to do our part. So that, because I'm sure God will do his part. He is faithful. He does not fail. Hallelujah. So you're going to look at number one right now. And I want you to blast that. Pray on that number one. Father Lord, I pray, oh God, concerning this project. Number one of my project. Father Lord, let it be done. It is done. Your number one is done in Jesus' name. 
Let's go to number two. La mandele do shakan toro briada da do shande da da. Raki la bahase kando lo bruho shakato yada da do sa. Le kapata la da 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 de shande da da. Is somebody praying with number one? You are number one. God will say amen to your number two right now. Is somebody praying with number two? Le kapase kato lo briada da do shata. La kashenda la da da de la da husa ya da da da. Le kada da 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 de la da. Number two, number two is done. Number two is done. Number two is done. In Jesus' name. Let's go to number three. Mata la braha shikan da 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 do do sa da da. Menda la da 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 do 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 shakan ta da da do sha. La kose ke to bria da 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 do sheka ta da. Le kando lo bria la da do do shaka ta ya da 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 da. La kose ka to ya da 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 do sha ta ya da da. Le kasa ka to ya da 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 do do sha. Father our God, number three is done. Number three is done. In Jesus' name. Uh, please, Technica, I think people online are saying that they're not hearing. There's no sound. Please, on the online screen. Hallelujah. Let's go to number four. Hallelujah. Ah, la posha katolo brianda la husa kataya da da. Menda la do 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 do. She can do lo brianda do do sa. Malake topo la babo bo she can de da da do do sa ya. La kate ba da 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 ya la lo lo she da da. Meku topo do brianda da da do she kataya da da. Le kata ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ya la lo she de ya da da da. Pesa ta ya da da do do sa. Your number four is done in Jesus name. Let's go to number five. Raymondo lo bro husha kanta ya da 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 do sa kata ya da da do sha. Meta la ba da ba da ba da ba da ya da da do sha nde ya da 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 ya la. Le kutu kutu brunda la da 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 ha sante ya da da do shi ta ya da da. Le pala da ba 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 da. Lo koshe ke to koto bre ya da 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 do sha ya da da da. Your number five is done in Jesus name. Let's go to number six. Raymond lo bro she can do lo bro hasi kata da 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 da. Reka lo do 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 shanda da da. Leka da 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 da. Reka la go do go do go do go do bria la do she kato ya da 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 da. Reka la ba da 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 ba. Your number six is done in Jesus name. Let's go to number seven. Raymond lo bo do bo ya la do 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 she can to lo bo ya da da do do sha ta le ka ta ya la da do do san ta ya la ba bo sha ya da 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 man de le ga de bo do bo ya la da do do sin da ya la lo sha ka ta ra pa ta 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 ba da 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 ya la do do sha le ka she ke te ba da da do she ka ta ya da 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 your number seven is done in Jesus name. The Lord will do exceedingly. The Lord will do abundantly. He will do above all that you've asked Him to do this year. The Lord will exceed your expectations. The Lord will exceed your projects. The Lord will do that which you've asked Him to do. The Lord will bring joy, celebration in your homes. In Jesus' name, your children shall be stars. Your children shall be head and brother. Your children stars you will be seen. Nothing will stop them. Uh. Nothing will stop our children uh, from fulfilling destiny. Our children will fulfill destiny. Our wives will fulfill destiny. Our husbands will fulfill destiny. Every member of Dreaming Island will fulfill destiny. Uh. We are destiny fulfillers. Uh. So shall it be in this house. Uh. Only joy celebration is allowed in this house. Uh. Only joy celebration is allowed in this house. Uh. Anything that will bring tears to your eyes uh, right now we destroy them uh, we destroy them uh, we condemn them uh, they will not prosper they will not prosper they will not prosper because we are walking in victory we are walking in victory I'm walking in victory I'm walking in victory I'm walking in victory is somebody walking in victory this day uh, I'm walking in victory. What's that song again? Please let's sing it. Hallelujah. I want us to Yeah. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. Come on. Cause I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in power. Hey, I live a life of favor. Favor. I'm walking in power.
but I can see the glory of God. Take a look at me. Take my picture now. Because it doesn't matter what you see. You will see the glory of God. I know who I am. Take a look. Take a picture. Whatever you want to take. Because after today, the Lord is taking me higher. The Lord is taking me better. The Lord is taking me faster. And I will hear your testimony. So shall it be. If you believe that, put your hands together as we take our offerings and give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Gonna dance. So we don't have to wear masks for a long time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. But God is doing his work. 
Good day, church, and welcome to Trem House Emergency News Update with your host, Amazing Jesse. Headlined Trem Godway Services, Birthdays, Weather Update. Details in a moment. Emmanuel McIndae's birthday is this week, the 18th of January. Happy birthday in advance. Please, church, let's not forget to celebrate him. And Kimberly Ali Omega's birthday is also this week, the 21st of January. Happy birthday in advance. Please, church, let's not forget to celebrate her. Ladies on Fire Conference 2022 is loading for the 5th and 6th of February. So all ladies in the house, get ready. Women's prayer meeting for the Ladies on Fire Conference 2022 will be held from the 1st to the 3rd of February on Zoom from 7 p.m. And on the 4th day, it will be held in church. The Young People's Youth Ball is coming soon for the 12th of February. But this year is different because it's a casual ball, so you can dress down and comfortably. Remember to invite all your friends because it's going to be so much fun starting at 2 p.m. Prayer and fasting continues and we'll be having our morning prayer session every day from 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. And then in the evening from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Please don't forget to join all of these important prayer sessions. Our Sunday celebration service will be streamed on our YouTube channel at Trem House of Mercy Galway starting at 10 a.m. So come celebrating. Today's weather will be from 8 degrees, and then the night will drop down to minus 1 degrees. There will be a 10% chance of precipitation, and humidity will be from 85%. So dress accordingly and enjoy the rest of your week. It's Dara Bam, this year year of acceleration. I remain above only. Shabbat shalom. I know we heard all the announcements. Please, the young people, start getting ready. It's going to be fun. Bring your friends and... Uh, you don't know what God is going to do. Hallelujah. So make sure you invite somebody. And the prize is 20 euros, isn't it? 20 euros for everything that day. So please, let's start. Uh, Jessica is the one collecting the money. So if you have 5 euros, you can give her. She will mark your name. So it will be easy for you, for you. Praise the Lord. And the Ladies on Fire Conference is here. Hallelujah. It's loading. I'm so excited for this year's Ladies on Fire because the Lord will do great things in our midst. Hallelujah. And we have our um, guest speakers coming from inside and outside. So we thank God for what he's going to do. I tell you, be expectant. And please, let us bring somebody. Don't come alone. Don't come alone that Saturday. Make sure you bring somebody that Saturday. Then Sunday is Thanksgiving service. So make sure you bring somebody as well. Please, this year, every day, just tell somebody, just come. Come, and God will bless you as you bring the people in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Okay, let's stand on our feet as we share the grace. Hallelujah. Please remember tonight uh, by 5 o'clock is our what? Prayer on our Zoom meeting, please. Yeah, you can share, call people, remind somebody. Let, let you know the only one will be that is calling people. Please call people so that they will be blessed as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace and fellowship. Oh, sorry. Let's do our declaration. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He supplies my needs according to his riches and glory. I have abundance. My children are taught of the Lord and great is his peace. The Lord will increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. The beauty of the Lord is upon me, and the Lord will establish the works of my hands. I will lend unto nations and borrow from none. Amen. The Lord gives me the seed to sow and the bread to eat. He guides me continually. He satisfies my soul in drought. He makes my bone fat. I am like a well-watered garden and like a spring of water whose water faileth not. I will build houses and live in them. I will plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. I will not build and another inhabit. I will not plant and another eat. I shall not labor in vain or bring forth for trouble. Amen. I will not go out in haste nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before me and the Lord God of Israel will be my real reward. His kindness shall not depart from me. Neither shall the covenant of peace be removed. Amen. Every day and every way I am getting better spiritually, physically, financially, mentally morally and in all my endeavors i am called for a purpose and i'll fulfill this purpose and i'll arrive at god's ordained destiny for my life nothing will cut me short i will make a formidable impact in my word for the kingdom 
This is my week of divine acceleration. So shall it be for you. You will accelerate in Jesus' name. You will go faster. You will go forward. God will lift you until you fulfill destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good Sunday. Love you. Remember, still maintain the protocols, please, as we leave the hall. God bless you. But you can still say hello to everyone. God bless.